Hey guys, uh, welcome to another one of my videos. Um, as you can see, my character looks a little bit different as I'm running the two-piece tank set now, uh, as explained in my in-depth itemization video. I uh, was lucky enough to get the token, so now I switched my gear around a little bit. But that's not the actual topic I want to talk to you about. Uh, today I would like to address the fact that Blizzard announced some fixes that they want to bring on 16th of April with the weekly maintenance. And uh, I think they are pretty much game-changing for PvP, and I want to explain why. So here we have the changes, and the life tab is mainly going to be a change for the um, PvE side of things. Um, same with the metamorphosis and the master demonologist, but the one we want to talk about is this one here. UA damage has been increased by roughly 20%. Now, first of all, let us look at the tooltip um, of UA, what it actually does. So I pulled this off uh, Wowhead, and it's scaled for level 50. You can see it does 358 base damage. Now, basically, this means that uh, 358 divided by 5, because it ticks 5 times every 3 seconds, you get 72 base damage. If we buff that by 120%, we get to 158. That's 86 base damage increased. Now, I just ran around Felwood a bit and tested my tick damage. Uh, UA now is ticking for 132. If you add the Haunt modifier, it's 158. And if you also get the Grimoire, you are at 198. Now, just by adding this 86 base damage, which I assume they will only buff the base damage, I doubt they will buff the scaling as well. If they will, this will be even bigger. You get you get 218 base tick damage. With Haunt, it's 262, and including Grimoire, it's 327. This is a huge buff, and this is going to make Felguard less and less viable. I would say in every BG, uh, in every PvP situation, you should be running Felhunter, and I'm actually strongly considering running it also in the open world. Felguard can be fun, as you saw in my other videos. I like Felguard. I like the fact that it charges and that you can stomp people. Um, but in general, these UA buffs, if they go live like this, they are too, too severe to ignore. Uh, I, I mean, imagine the crits. If a regular UA crit, which with a pandemic rune will crit for 100% additional damage, will crit for 654 damage. I mean, that's just crazy, right? And I mean, we ha I haven't even spoken about the silence effect. I mean, the silence effect, effect is now 645 damage. Um, if that is also increased by 120%, which I'm not sure they're going to increase also the silence, but uh, they just say the damage has been increased, so I assume they, they do. So right now, if I use this on the average PvP target, it does about 1.2k damage. So for very simple math, let's say 600 damage, base damage, 600 scaling. So if they just buff this by 120%, we will already be at 1.3k, plus add the additional 600. Uh, if, you, if you put all that together, you will be looking at 2k damage and 5 second silence, non-crit, uh, for dispelling the UA. So therefore, um, I think this change is huge. Uh, it'll impact PvP by a lot. I do not think this change is needed at all. I think it's a mistake on Blizzard's part to make this. But um, hey, I'm a Warlock main. I don't mind having it. I just hope the nerf hammer will not come upon us uh, after people realize how OP we are. So thanks a lot for tuning in and have a good day. Now, as usual, I decided to add a little PvP clip because I found a nice paladin in Swamp of Sorrows uh, yesterday evening. Um, you see a nice little torment proc here, which he immediately bubbles. When a paladin bubbles, really what you have to do is just keep the distance, right? I'm just kiting him. He's doing no damage at all. You just have to survive this phase. And after that, you can CC him again. So ideally, you would be looking to fear. I decide to coil into fear, which is also viable. Um, yeah. And once he gets back into fear, fear is your best friend. I cannot stress it enough. You always want your opponents in fear. And you see at that point, he's just, uh, he's just gonna die. Now actually, just moments later, um, I encountered another person. This is a really nice spot, by the way, from Swamp of, Swamp of Sorrows. Uh, this exit here, you can find a lot of Alliance players here. And uh, this guy, the same thing. I just fear him immediately um, and get on with the dot action. But he just dies. Lucky me, there we see another player who would like to 
fight me or maybe not he's not reacting at all oh he is he's pressing bubble so again we ru just run away he hodges me i dispel with the fell hunter that's the nice thing about the fell hunter so i do still get to kite him and i still have the trinket as well and now the bubble is off i cannot coil him because i already used it i just haunt and drain life and i don't think he can kill me here i mean i still have my health stolen but once i get him into fear i know my health is going to reach him back up um, i just apply all dots i don't even have ua applied here and I just kill him with the next haunt that I get.